Hey guys, this is Evie and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I did this pink and white ombre baby boomer nails. All right, so this is my nail area and I have a new addition. I have this new acrylic rotating nail accessory storage and these are available in the long hair pretty nail shop i will leave a link down below but it is so cool you get to store all of your nail trinkets in it and this is not how i'm going to like place everything i just kind of put stuff in here so you guys can see all the compartments and everything so there's a large drawer at the bottom and then on the top here um, the top comes off and you have these different compartments to put stuff in as well and it is made of high quality shatter resistant acrylic and it is so cute so for this look i'll be using long hair pretty nails clear acrylic pixie pink acrylic and tammy taylor's whitest white acrylic powder so i also have a mini haul from banggood and the first items that I picked up is this um, foil glue. They call it star glue. And I have this holographic nail foil that I can't wait to use. Next, I have this extra large stamper and this is a clear stamper. And this is actually the same stamper that Kirsty uses from Nail Nails. So I love that it is so large and it's see-through so I'm able to see where I'm stamping. And it also comes with two of these scraping cards. So the next item I have is this medium grid cone bit. And I believe this is a medium bit. Um, it's not labeled, but, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try this out and see if this will further help me in my shaping. And finally, I have these clear nail tips. Now these nail tips are super long and that's the reason why I wanted to get them to see if I can kind of cut down on um, the scoping and stuff that I do but I don't like that these tips have a mean curve like look at that <laughs> curved nails are not really my style but I'm gonna try them out and see how I like them so these are the sizes that I picked out and I'm gonna glue them on using the IBD brush on nail glue and I'm just going to put a bit in the well and just press it on my nail but yeah, look at that curve, like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I really want to like some tips that are long that are not curved, like where can I find some? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue these on and we're just gonna go from here. All right, so this is after I have all these cat claws on. So now I'm just gonna trim them down using this um, nail clipper that I got from Gearbest. And the curve looks better once the nails are a bit shorter. So after cutting the nails down, I'm just gonna go in with a sharp pair of scissors and just cut off the corners of the square so that can help me form my coffin shaped nails. So now I'm just going in with my hand file to do the shaping and filing and blending of these tips. And now I'm going in with Nail Nails Nail Prep Dehydrator. And then No Lift Nails Primer. All right, so now I'm starting off with the Tammy Taylor Whitest White Acrylic, and I'm just gonna place that in the center of the nail and work it down the free edge. And when I'm doing ombre nails, I like to work um, the tip color first, and then I'm going to put the nail bed area um, color down and drag that over it. But first, I just make sure this is nice and neat and all of that jazz. Next, taking the Pixie Pink Acrylic, I'm just gonna place a bead right above where the white is and just you know, tap it in place and lightly drag it over the white to create a nice ombre effect. 
So yes, Pixie Pink is finally back. I know it's been forever, but it is back. The color is perfect and I am just so happy. So yeah, the color is back in stock. Um, it got back in stock, I think, maybe last week. So um, it kind of is, is going pretty fast. I'm going to try my best to restock it and keep it in stock. But if you want it, you need to jump on it like ASAP. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just uh, repeating the same thing for all of the nails. And as always, I'm using my number eight Alpha Kalinske Oval Brush and I will leave a link down below.
All right, so after all of the acrylic is laid, I'm just gonna go in with the clear acrylic and go ahead and encapsulate these nails. So mainly I'm focusing on the transition area between the pixie pink color and the white color, but the pixie pink, um, because it does have glitter in it, it does kind of have a rough surface to it. So it's strictly optional, but I just went ahead and encapsulated the whole nail just so it can be nice and smooth. All right, so this is after the acrylic has dried and now I'm going in with my hand file and doing my shaping and filing and also finish off with my e-file around the cuticle areas like I always do. So this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed and the curve is not that bad, I guess, but I can't go any longer than this or the curve would just be too much for me. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going in with a medium sized bead of clear acrylic and then I'm taking this um, jewel here and placing it in the acrylic and just using my brush to wipe away any excess and just get it nice and even. So next I'm going in with the Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat and just giving it a nice little glossy finish and this is where you can really see that pixie pink color come to life. And for this finger, I just make sure to apply the top coat around the jewel. I don't want any top coat on any of this jewels. So before I cure, I'm going in with some iridescent crystals and some pearls. And we're just gonna do a little placement design here. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. So this is what the nails look like after curing. I am so happy with how these turned out. So I'm just gonna put some cuticle oil on. And yeah, this is the finished look. Just a nice, sophisticated and work appropriate, simple ombre nails. I know I don't do simple nails enough, but I really like a nice, you know, baby boomer nail, so. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you in my next one.